Okay, uh, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll not be doing any Discord stuff. I'll actually be showing off a quick uh, Kahoot bot I made. Because I tried to bot Kahoot in class today, but I couldn't find anyone that worked. So I, I learned the Kahoot API, <laughs> pretty simple actually. And I made this really fast. So I'll show you like how it works. So you press new terminal. Uh, then you type in node space dot. You need the game pin, so let me get the game pin from the coot I got here. Copy that, paste that in there. Pin set to, and then the, you know, and then for example the bot name we can set as for example test. And then how many bots I would like to send because the fastest is 230 and below. So I'll just be sending that. Now it's sending 230 bots. And now if we go over here, it's sending a lot of bots. Uh, 230 actually, <laughs> as we specified. There we go, we got 230 bots. And I'll also show you it actually answers the questions. Like not correct or anything, but kind of <laughs> so here we go I just made uh, just found this like really random uh, quote about Frozen the movie as you see we get some answers though uh, it's on Norwegian so uh, yeah uh, some for some reason it doesn't answer with all the bots but you know it's all good now if we skip, you see they kind of just pick random. But, uh, you know, it's it's pretty good though, because it's kind of like really screw with the code. If like at least like 50 bots pick, um, pick the correct. Uh, some requirements you're going to need for this is, of course, Node.js. Pretty simple. I'll leave that in the description. Uh, you'll also be needing somewhat of a. You don't really need to. Uh, you could also. So let me show you. Uh, so I got it on my desktop here. Uh, we can go into the codebot folder. We download, copy this path. Uh, go into the CMD command prompt. Then press. Uh, there we go. And then you can just do node space dot. So it's up to you if you want to use the CMD or the Visual Studio. I just used the Visual Studio code uh, as I got the code in here too, so it's pretty smart. Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, make sure you download Node.js. Don't change anything with the code unless you want to like change the strings for some other reason. And it also works with like error catching and it works with uh, What's it called? Uh, it works with uh, so you can't the game pin can't must be a number and the the bot count also must be a number so pretty good. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, have a great day.